So congratulations on this movie. I watched it last night and I'm a huge dog lover. So I was very moved throughout the movie and both laughed and cried. Perfect. <laughs> uh, how did you know that Kevin Costner's voice would be perfect for the role of Enzo? Uh, well, uh, he is a big fan of the book and I'm a big fan of his. And uh, I, know, I, I knew I wanted an iconic American voice uh, to portray the, the dog looking back on his life. Much of the movie is told from Enzo's point of view, so can you explain a little bit about what Enzo Cam is? Well, we invented Enzo Cam because uh, we were shooting so many scenes that we'd seen in many films, births, marriages and deaths, mm -hmm. uh, and we wanted to make them unique, so we shot them from a low camera, you know, a couple of feet above the ground where the dog's eye line is, uh, uh, and it makes familiar scenes unfamiliar and original, I hope. Yes, yeah, it definitely did. And uh, how is the art of racing in the rain, you know, how is racing used as a metaphor in this movie? Well, that, that's exactly what it is, that uh, Enzo and Milo's character, Denny, try and take the lessons from the racetrack and adapt them to their real lives. So simple things like trying to live in the present, that's mm -hmm. because the best drivers do that. And the art of racing in the rain is, is really about a driver not being afraid of the rain, but driving into it and taking ownership of it. And that's a metaphor for taking on adversity in your lives and, and making the best of them. So I grew up with two golden retrievers and I also worked with a, a rescue organization uh, and fostered a golden retriever and a black Labrador. But when I was looking after these dogs, I always thought, I wonder if we could, you know, take a little, you know, clone a little bit of this dog and put it into the human genetic makeup and it would be such a nicer world, you know? There wouldn't yeah. be any wars. Well, I think there's yeah. a reason that, that so many people are taking dogs into their lives at the moment because they, they give you love and support and uh, ground you in a way. Mm -hmm. That's very true. What is one thing that you would like audiences to walk away with after watching this movie? I think it's a timely reminder to cherish the people you love around you, whether they're friends, family, kids or animals, because you never know what's around the corner. That's very true. I think we forget to live in the present. Correct. What was your favourite scene to film? I don't know, but I, I, I just really love some of those improvised moments where the family were playing with the dog and the, the little girl and just seeing that, that genuine happiness. Uh, it was great. Right. The chemistry on uh, screen between Milo and Amanda, their characters, was beautiful yeah. to see. It just really came across. That was on video. screen and off screen, and I was very lucky to get them both. Mm -hmm. Is it true that the two dogs that play Enzo were both rescues? I believe so, yeah, yeah. I believe so. Wow, that's amazing. I'm yeah. glad that they've gone from homelessness to yeah. stardom, yeah, you know? Exactly. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yeah, superstars now. Yeah. Especially yeah. on the red carpet, they stole the show yeah, every yeah, day. Yeah, yeah. Yes, well, thank you so much for talking to Hey You Guys. I really appreciate your time and loved the movie. Really appreciate it, thank, thank you. you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, yeah. Is that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!